Hi, my name is Deidre Penrose. I am an independent Team Beach Body Coach, and I want to talk about meal planning. Today is Sunday. It is one of my favorite days of the week, only because I can set myself up for success and get the most out of what I have sitting in my fridge. So I have learned that I am only grocery shopping once every, I'm trying to do once every two weeks, but once every week if I really need to, if I don't have the ingredients, I'm going to work with what I have at home. So this is the start of what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to just give you a little rundown of what I have prepared for my week. So I'm going to start over here with my proteins. I have my um, broiled salmon, and I have baked chicken, and I already have it in my servings. I have a piece of each for my day's worth, for my lunches and my dinner. And then I have my asparagus, and there's a pretty good amount in there, so that's a few servings, at least three. And how I make my asparagus is I just bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes, give or take. Um, I drizzle it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and on top I just sprinkle with some Himalayan salt, which is the purest of salts. Um, so that is that. I also do have some garlic veggie stir fry, which is really, really good. I got it from my Ultimate Reset Recipes. Um, pretty easy. You just cut up a bunch of vegetables. I have broccoli, carrots, um, and raw green, red, and yellow peppers in here. So I um, put that all together in, on the stove, and I do use a little bit of Bragg's Liquid Aminos, which is like a soy sauce, but it's actually protein. And also I use some Himalayan salt with that, and that's all you use, and it tastes really, really well. So those are my veggies I use. And now on to here. These are my little snacks I have prepped. Now you're going to see that I have a lot of sandwich bags and snack bags that I use, but it does help me, especially when I'm on the go. I have it already ready. I don't have to mix anything up or fix anything. I just grab the bag, get my snack, and I go. So here's one snack, for instance. I have one serving of raw almonds, and I, they're actually cinnamon almonds, um, but one serving is about a handful. So if it fits in the palm of your hand, that's your serving. And it's about one ounce or 28 almonds. So I have a couple bags of those, and I do have a fat-free string cheese. You can use lighter fat-free, whatever works best for you. But it is a good source of protein to have with your almonds. And then I also have in my baggies mixed um, nuts and berries, and I actually made these myself. I find it easier because I use exactly what I want with um, my serving. So in here I have almonds, and they're slivered onions, um, almonds. I have raw pumpkin seeds. I have dried cranberries and dried blueberries, and then I have goji berry, which is awesome. Helps with your immune system. Um, so, again, about one ounce of that, and I'm going to have that with my favorite protein sticks ever. They are ostrich sticks, and it's Ostrim. You can actually get it at GNC. I actually started ordering it, though, off of Amazon because I am a Prime member. I get a lot of my ingredients off of Amazon. Um, I buy it in bulk, so it's a lot cheaper, plus the free shipping. You can't um, go wrong with that. So the ostrich sticks, they are high protein, low fat. They're only 80 calories. It only has 1.5 grams of fat. It has your 14 grams of carbohydrate or of protein just in one stick. And then you only have three carbs and two sugars. So it's awesome. Comes in a couple different flavors. You can get teriyaki, which is my favorite. You can also do the barbecue or the pepper. So those are my snacks that I have. I also have my fruits now. I have one apple is a serving, so I cut that up, and I actually put some lemon juice in here. It helps preserve it. Um, you don't want it to turn all brown and disgusting, so also gives it a really, really good taste when you go to eat it. So there are the apples, and then I also have in little snack baggies a kiwi cut up along with some raspberries. Very, very good fresh food, fresh fruit. Um, I can mix those with some plain Greek yogurt. Tastes really, really well and even drizzle a little bit of pure maple syrup on top. It's amazing for a breakfast or even a snack. 
So then I have my raw vegetables, which is one of my servings, um, one of my meals. I have tomatoes. I have some raw green and red peppers. And in some of them, I even have orange and yellow peppers. I pretty much use whatever I have. Um, I work with what I have. Like I said, I'm not going to go make a special trip if I ran out of green peppers. I'm just going to replace it and use the um, orange or the yellow if I have it. And then I did throw some cucumbers in there also because I did have some extra and I don't want them to go to waste. So there are all of my huge servings of vegetables and you really can't have too many raw vegetables. They're so good for you. So um, with the vegetables, I use hummus. It is a good, good source of protein. You have good fats in it as well. So you have your vegetables and then you have your protein. And the hummus I use is the Sabra. Um, you can do, um, I use the roasted red pepper or the supremely spicy. I do like a little kick to my food. So I use about a quarter of a cup. That is a serving size to go with my vegetables. And I have all of my cups here sitting. Next, I have my salads. Now, with the salads, I cannot prepare seven salads for the week because you know what it turns into after it sits for so long. So I did three days, and that'll be perfectly fine. I have in here some spinach, some bok choy, and some Swiss chard. Those are the green leafies that help with your fiber and are just very good nutritional value, good uh, source of your vegetables. Um, I also have some cucumbers in here, some tomatoes, some broccoli. I did have some extra broccoli left over from this week. Threw that right in. And the tomatoes. Um, I also do have some alfalfa sprouts on top. Some people may think that sounds weird, but it actually tastes really good with everything. And for my dressing, I am just going to be using this week um, oil and vinegar. It's simple. There's nothing bad in that. I don't have to worry about having the extra fat with the ranch dressing or whatever. So I'm going to use that as my um, dressing. Also, another one I use for my ultimate reset is a creamy garlic um, dressing. It is so good. But since I did that all last week, I'm going to switch around. That way I can change things up a little bit. So my last snack here I have is obviously my Shakeology. This is the vegan chocolate. It is very, very good for you. It is probably the healthiest meal out of all these because in this alone has eight servings of fruits and vegetables. Um, it's so easy to take with you if you can't tell already. It's one packet and you take it and go. Um, I do have my Shakeology cup. Very simple. Take your cup, take your packet, fill it up with water if you need to. Um, you can also use almond milk or coconut milk or regular milk if you prefer. But if I'm on the go, I'm just going to have my water already in here and I'm going to have my shake and I'm going to dump it in, mix it up and have a meal. So pretty easy to use. So I hope that you have a little idea now of how to plan for your week and set yourself up for success. And if you have any questions, you can message me on Facebook. You can email me. And good luck to you. I hope that this works for you and you can do the same. Take care.